Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and uh, this is another feature of the desktop taskbar that we'll be checking out today and uh, showing you how to add or hide these buttons depending on if you want it or if you don't and uh, customize actually your taskbar on the desktop like you want in Windows 8.1. So when you're on your desktop, and a lot of you are because most of the people are actually using desktop mode, um, when you right click at the bottom and go into properties, so you right click on your taskbar in the bottom, go into the properties, L click the toolbar options. Toolbars are different options that you can add to that taskbar. For example, you can click address. What it's going to do when you apply it is that you'll have a address bar at the bottom. So you can actually type, for example, www.google.com and have a Internet Explorer page open up with your website. So you don't have to open the browser to type in an address. You can actually type it directly in the taskbar. So that could be useful uh, in some cases. So that's one option that you can add. You can also add links, and if you apply with links, uh, these will bring up links to uh, your favorite websites that are in the uh, favorites link folder. So you can actually click a web page link and actually uh, go into that link. And of course, everything is customizable. Uh, all you have to do is that um, you take your favorites bar in Internet Explorer, remove what you don't want, and just tag your favorite websites to that bar. And that's what's going to show up in the links at the bottom of your taskbar when you add this option. There's also what's called touch keyboard. Touch keyboard is a quick way to actually have your keyboard show up and um, if you have a touch interface, it might be very useful. All you have to do is just touch that little touch keyboard and it's going to pop up automatically. You don't have to uh, write down in a, in a word, for example, or have to tap on a uh, little box where you need to enter text for it to show up. You actually have the little icons that can make it just pop up like you want. So that's uh, mostly a useful option for people using a touch device. You can have iTunes or if your default uh, program is media player, then you can have media player also uh, show up in the taskbar. This is an option where uh, you can actually have the controls of your different programs uh, automatically show up. And finally you have desktop option. Desktop option is the option where you just tap on the screen and actually you can click on one of your desktop icons. So for example, you can hide, this is where it's very useful, I can hide my desktop icons so that I don't have anything on my desktop, but I'll still have at the bottom in the taskbar that desktop option that I can click and click on whatever icon or option was on my desktop. And it even adds um, features like, you know, um, this PC, libraries, network, everything is there. So instead of having icons on your desktop, you have that little desktop uh, option in the taskbar so that you can access all of your icons that you might be using on your desktop. So whatever option you might want to add or remove, it's all here. And you can, of course, just remove all the check marks to have a regular standard uh, desktop taskbar. So uh, it's as easy as that. It's very nice to customize your taskbar to uh, do whatever you want and have your favorite buttons there. So I uh, hope that this video can be useful for some of you out there that might want to have a little bit more ease of use of the desktop mode in Windows 8.1. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be in the form when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe have a feature, a problem, or something you'd like us to make a video. Why not uh, ask away and we'll try to put that video online. And hopefully you will come back and watch our videos on the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.